really, really, really up here. Right now we are leaving Isla Viveros. It's 10.20 in the morning. We're nearly an hour late. Which matters a bit because we have to go through this channel here between Isla Viveros and Isla del Rey. For Carl, it's not such a big problem since I only have 1.1 draft, a no, 1.3 draft, but Joanna has two meters, so. But it still looks alright, the tides right now. It's a high moon tide, so there's still quite a bit of water. There's one or two spots that are pretty shallow. The current is with us. We're gonna run through this channel like crazy, and then once on the other side, both of us are gonna do a little boat check. Make sure everything is fine. Have a big chat, and then hopefully set sails. Yeah, it's all two eight to three two, more or less. Okay. Yeah, I'm just reaching over. I need to. You have like nearly a meter of water. Oh, yeah. We wanted to go through the channel two hours after high tide. Now it's exactly three hours after high tide. There's two shallow spots here in this channel and they're both at 2.8 meters. Maria's draft is two meters so three hours into the tide is really the last that you can do. Once the current is in our favor. Yay! My Velagic Autopilot took over for now. I'm gonna put some waypoints in here. Also, I'm gonna do a little check down below real quick.
got the wind vane set up. Pretty, pretty amazing. We have six nuts of apparent wind. Well, coming on the beam, so pretty much apparent and true are pretty much the same, I guess. Um, we're doing three nuts, of which one is potentially current, maybe. And the wind vane is holding us on course pretty, pretty good. I think it was worth dismantling it. Now it's the movement is so much smoother. Before it was kind of like. Now I also added another line tightener, like one of these little thingies on the other side. Before I only had one on one side, so it was always difficult to get the right tension in the lines. So now it seems to be working a little better. We'll see, we'll see. It's so nice because it's so quiet. I love the Pelagic Autopilot, but obviously an electrical autopilot does make more noise and use electricity. So I'm happy to have the wind vane set up. Where is my wind? Where is my wind? 5.4 knots of wind. Doing 2.5 knots. I'm gonna let Maria catch up a little bit. And then when she's here, I'm gonna shake the reef out in the main. The only reason I still had it in is because we're trying to stay together and with this light wind, she's a little slower than calm. We're still between the islands. We're about to leave the island, so I'm just cooking some lunch. Right now, I don't feel sick, so let's hope it stays that way. quick bite to eat and then we're out of the islands and I have to change course a little bit further south. Back in the days on my solo passages I was usually always sick the first day. I'm not saying it can still happen because right now everything is super smooth obviously but today things are running quite all right and I think it's good to take the opportunity that things are going well to eat something or to cook something and to have something in the stomach. Back in the days I couldn't even have breakfast because I was so full of anxiety and I don't want to jinx it but this time I feel fairly okay. Touch wood. Let's hope that it's going to stay as beautiful as it is right now. Kyle's doing good. Doing good. 90 degrees, spot on. Nice job, Lady Pacific. Well, the Genoa is just bobbing around, not doing anything, so I'm gonna take it in. Wind is pretty much gone. Joanna. Hey, I've been like bobbing at like 1, 1 1.2 now for half an hour and I took in the Genoa and I think I'm going to throw the engine on. Yeah, me too. I'm just about done with cooking it and I'll kick it into gear here. Okay, just so we make some um, way because of Puntamala and stuff. We're back on sailing. The wind picked up again. We have some 10 knots more or less. Need to fall off a little bit. A little too high. I want to sail like 90 degrees to the wind. I set my wind vane a little different or maybe my sail there.
days were quite a bit of work. You know, you think your boat is actually kind of ready and then there's this and that and that and that. And then, you know, we've been sitting at anchor for a while, so the boat was definitely in a different modus <laughs> than passage modus. But I'm just gonna lounge a little bit. It's, I don't know, I think five, nearly five. Um, I'm gonna put on my AIS alarm now because we're just about to cross the shipping lane. I can see four big, 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 big boats crossing our path. I'm gonna put the CPA alarm on the closest point of approach. Just talked to Maria, she's doing good. Um, we're a little off because I'm with the light winds or with the winds between 10 and 15 knots, Carl is doing a little better than Joanna. Under motor, she's obviously doing better than Carl. Um, and then once the wind picks up around 20s, then she boogies off as well. And also for her having the gaff rig, so she has the, the peak on top, which at night is, you know, a little dangerous to deal with if you get big winds and stuff. So we're trying the best to stay close to each other. We have a system that we call each other on the radio every two hours during daylight. And then between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. we call every hour just to check on speed and position and course. And we also call each other, obviously, if we just want to chat, but um, also if we, for example, decide that we want to go from sailing to motoring or vice versa, um, or if we want to change course, or, you know, just so the other person knows what's going on. We're trying to stay within the reach of our radios, which is not grand, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. The wind vane is also a really good teacher for sail trim because if your sail trim is off then most of the time the wind vane is not going to steer very well either so right now she wasn't she was always pointing too high so now i opened the main attach and i pulled the genoa in a little bit and now we seem to be a bit more balanced if that's true i don't know this is just trial and error <laughs> and we're faster we are making 4.5 before, now I'm making 4.9! Yay! And on course.
a sleepless night because of weather and traffic. We're doing 8.4 knots. <laughs> well, the wind um, was a little gentler for a bit. Holy moly! In the end, Carl reached a new record speed that night doing 9.2 knots. The wind had freshened up quite a bit and the currents before Punta Mala were just insane which caused quite the roller coaster ride. But we made it safely through the night, covering some decent ground towards our next anchorage, just south of Isla Coima. But more about that soon.